Hey guys, Karina here. Thanks again for joining me for yet another video. Um, this is my second time trying to record this. Um, I was five minutes in, my camera shut down, and now I gotta start all over. So yay, technical difficulties. Um, <laughs> I started this sketchbook back in January of 2016, and I just finished it this month, which is um, midway through February. And it is a Strathmore 400 series, just a sketchbook. It's not fancy paper. Um, my opinion on the paper is I don't like it. I will not buy another one of these sketchbooks. It may be good for some people. It wasn't the best for me. Um, I'm used to drawing in moleskins, and I love the smooth paper of the moleskin, like the one I have in the background here. Um, I love that paper so much more than this um, toothy paper that's in this book. So I won't be buying another one of these. And um, let's just go through the book and um, I'll show you guys what I did. So I started off, whoops, I started off this book with uh, doing some hand sketches and these were done by looking off of a step-by-step -step tutorial on YouTube. So these weren't done by my imagination. The fingers are nowhere near where they need to be. These two are not too bad. This one here is a little bit wonky, but um, overall they're not too, too bad. And the same with these. This one here is a little bit wonky as well, but at least I'm trying. I'm trying, right? Um, this is a might be a little bit difficult to see um, a, one of our dogs, and um, this was a picture on the wall that I was trying to do like a gesture drawing of, and that's our fish tank. Um, this is a plane that's actually, I did this with a ballpoint pen, um, a plane that is on uh, a big metal post at one of the kids parks here in town. Uh, it used to be, you know, people used to fly it, but it's at a commission, I guess, so um, they decided to stick it up in one of the parks. It's pretty huge. And this was me just messing around while I was sitting at home in Newfoundland. Um, little characters that I was trying to work around. I did this in the St. John's airport while we were waiting for a flight to come back home when I was on vacation this summer. I didn't get very far with it. I just left it as it was. Um, here I was testing out the um, Pentel pocket brush pen which I'm still not sure if I like it or not. Um, I should also mention as well the paper in this um, book is very toothy and I don't like it. Um, I don't think I would ever buy another one of these sketchbooks again. I like the moleskin paper, like the, the big book that I have behind this one here. And I like how smooth it is and it, you don't get that grittiness to your pencil when you're drawing. Um, so I think I might stick more towards the moleskin type paper. Um, maybe not. I have another sketchbook there um, that I'm going to try out that has paper similar to the moleskin, but um, I'm hoping that book is going to be good. Anyhow, um, I did pick up some Cully Race uh, pencils, the Prismacolor ones, and so that's where I'm getting all the, the blue um, colors to my pictures. I really enjoy drawing with the blue and the purple. Red, not so much. Um, but I really like drawing with the blue. Um, this idea came from um, Jazz's RD Games app on the iPhone. Um, it was a nymph that is always accompanied by a wild animal with a bionic body part. So I drew um, this uh, girl and a squirrel with a metal tail. Um, so that was fun to do. And just some more little fairy type creatures, girls that I was trying to draw. And again, I really like drawing in color. I was really happy that I found the Color Race pencils. Uh, and some of these, the green ones, um, are Stedler um, mechanical pencil leads that I bought as well when I was on vacation. So I really enjoyed drawing these little characters. This one here I did a video for. Um, there's another video on my channel here of me painting this one. Um, but I kind of like the actual sketch of it more than the finished, the finished piece. And more little characters that I did. Now coming up is 29 Faces of uh, September that I did last year in 2016. I did them small so I didn't feel like I was getting um, behind. So that's those. I really like the way that this one here turned out. And there's some more. I have a Mad Hatter down here. This one is actually a character that I saw online so I didn't come up with this. Um, I just copied the character so this is not my image. Um, and unfortunately I don't remember 
who did it, so I can't tell you who. Um, but all the rest of these, these are all my own little characters that I came up with. I really like the way that these two here turned out as well. Um, I really like this page. Um, all of this is either gouache, um, pit pens, or aqua markers um, that I did these with, and I thought that was a real fun thing to do and very colorful. I like the way that this one here turned out. And then this one here. I really like this page too. I like the um, I like how the pages get all wrinkly when you're painting on them, so that's pretty cool. Um, my first attempt at drawing a strange male creature, I'm going to call it. Um, it didn't turn out the way I wanted it to, but I like the face on this one here and this one right here as well. But I like this whole entire page. But. And then there are these. This one here I tried with some Copics to see how the Copic would um, work on this paper. And it wasn't horrible. It does seep through just a little bit. Um, but the same with the gouache and the, mark and the markers and everything as well. And that's why I don't do both sides of the paper because I don't want the ink or whatever I'm using to go through the other side. So I like drawing on one side of the paper only. And there's some more faces here. I really like this one and this one. The other three, eh, they're okay, but I like these, or these two here the most. And that was it for the 29 faces of September. And then there's this one that I did. One. I really like drawing um, from the neck up and that's why I'm trying to get better at drawing bodies and um, having more, is fluidity a word? I don't even know if that's a word, but I'm trying to make my drawings more fluid. Um, that's just a bad day that I was having. Um, so I kind of journaled that in here. Uh, me trying to draw a female figure. This is actually one of Jasmine Beckett Griffith's um, oracle cards that I got a couple years ago for Christmas. And um, this is not my character, this is her character. I was just using the card to get reference for the way the body and everything was shaped. So um, that was a pretty good use of those cards other than using them as an oracle deck. And another one. This is not hers though. This is something that I saw a picture of a girl laying on the beach. So I decided to try and do that as well. Uh, this is gouache, I believe, or neo colors, one of the two. So again, trying my best at trying to do body poses and stuff like that. And this one is gouache or neo colors as well. I think it's neo colors because it's I can see the crayon residue. And the same with this one, yeah. And a Pokemon. And these are a couple quick sketches that I've done. At this point in time, I was just trying to get this book filled up. And then there's this one. I know the faces aren't perfect, but like I said, I had fun with it. And that's all that matters. The eyes on this one is so piercing. And then this one here, I redid this one. Um, I've already made a YouTube uh, video for it. It looks um, quite a bit different than what it does here though, but I did um, paint it with some watercolors and, and whatnot. So that will be up on the channel um, very soon, I think, very soon. And again, trying to do different poses and I suck at hands and feet and side faces as you can see, but I'm trying to get better. This is my favorite sketch in this book. Um, I don't know why, but there's just something about it that, I don't know, I just get drawn to it. So this is one of my favorite ones. And I'm coming up with an angel coloring book um, that'll be out in sometime this summer. And I was trying to get a pose um, for some different characters that I can do. Um, wasn't happy with the face on this girl, um, but I like the, you know, the way that the, she's supposed to be sitting, but I'm still working on getting that figured out as well. And then just some random lips. I don't know what I was thinking here. I don't know what this is. Um, <laughs> if you block this out, that's a pretty good set of an eye and lips going on there. So I was pretty, um, I, I like these and I wish I could do this more in like a full picture. 
<laughs> so um, I'm just doing some eye studies and, and whatnot. So I really, I, I like that much of the page. <laughs> Uh, and then the Red Queen, and I was testing out some paints and stuff while we're here. There's a video on YouTube, or on my channel, for this. This is all uh, Faber-Castell pit pens. And there's also a video for this as well. It's a collaboration that I did um, back before Christmas, I think. Then I have a mermaid sitting in a martini glass. And some ideas that I was trying to come up with for little pictures that I could do. And then there's this one. I really like drawing um, little creatures with um, antlers and stuff like that. And there's Herbert. I thought he was cute. <laughs> He's done with Faber-Castell pit pens as well. And an evil little chick. It was supposed to be a nice little chick but he turned out to have evil eyes, so I just, I turned the page and moved on. <laughs> um, this was um, supposed to be a sketch and I just started messing around with Neo colors and it didn't turn out very well um, and I gave up on it. Then the page fell out and all that stuff and some collaboration stuff that I was working on. Whoops, you can't even see that. There we go. Oh, this is gonna be a long video. Um, so there's this guy. I was trying to start drawing some male faces and this is what I came up with and I stopped because I couldn't get the other eye. And then there's this. And I'm sure you guys all know where this belongs. Um, it is from uh, the Beauty and the Beast movie, of course. So a little bit of sketch there. And I've been watching a lot of Danica Sills um, videos lately and um, trying to get some tips from her. And I really like the way she draws hair. So I decided to try it out and I really like it. This um, is going to be one of my coloring pages. She looks a lot different now that I have her digital, digital lies, Di digital, um, yeah. she's digital. I, I put her on the computer and I did the line work with my graphics uh, display, so. She looks better. Then there's this girl. And I'm trying to learn how to draw some hair. And trying to get side views right. Or three quarter views I should say. And then I just have some weird gesture drawings that I didn't do very well. And that's pretty much... Don't, don't, don't even ask what... This was a weird... A weird pose. It's quickposes.com, I think, where I got some of the stuff from. But there's just like weird pictures in here. I was just trying to finish up the sketchbook and they didn't turn out very well. Not very well at all. But yeah, that's pretty much it. There's just a couple other, I don't even know what I was doing there. Um, there's a couple of other things back here. Um, this is my marker storage that I made and the sizes and everything of how everything got cut. And what else? What else? And like I said, these are my favorite castell um, brush pens that I was testing in the book to see what colors they were. And there's the back of the book. And that's pretty much it. These are my um, Karen Dash gouache set that I have. Like I said, and I was mixing the colors and everything and my favorite castell pit pens. And over here is where I've been testing all my markers and stuff. So, um, but yeah, that's it. Sorry, my address is on the back of the book. That's it for that sketchbook. Like I said, guys, I'm still learning and this was just a bunch of randomness in here. Um, but I will be starting a new sketchbook um, maybe tonight, so I will definitely show you guys that when it comes time. Um, if you have any questions or comments, uh, you can leave them down in the comment section down below. And if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. It helps out my channel quite a bit when others um, can find my channel because of the interaction and everything from you guys. That would be that would be awesome. Um, always enjoy having new subscribers around, and. Uh, 
uh, I'm going to let you guys go because this video is already a little bit longer than I intended. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope to see you back in for the next video next week. All right, guys. Bye for now. Thank you guys so much for watching my video today. If you liked it, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, comment down below, share with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already to make sure you see my future videos. Until next time, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.